Okay, continue where we left off. I just went ahead and finished the graph. Uh, just keep in mind the uh, here the distance um, right here the distance how how much bigger it is than this distance right here. And, uh, so when you get your answer, make sure your answer is a little bit bigger than forty five. Okay, the hypotenuse is always bigger than the two sides. Okay, so just uh, keep that in mind as you're working through the problem. Get this whole thing up here. Move this out the way first. See if this guy works. There we go. All right then. Get that out of my face. And that's good enough. Uh, you already see the problem on your paper, so. Uh, that's good enough. <laughs> All right, so what are we asking to find here? What is the problem asking to find? <laughs> or is to be able to write? Our unknown is the uh, straight line displacement. So as a as a bird would fly, okay. So we're not looking for distance. We don't have to add the two distances. We have to find that hypotenuse of this uh, triangle. So. And that's when you just write delta x, not d. Careful. And the equation is the same. Hypotenuse of a triangle, use the Pythagorean theorem. Man, skip it ahead for the sake of time. This is what you get. And um, significant digits. We need to make sure we keep those in mind. We have we have three here, and we need the number with the fewest, and we have two here. So make sure your answer is to two significant digits. Here's one, here's two, and do I need to round it up because of that six behind it? The answer is yes. So what am I doing here? To two, I'm changing it to two significant figures and we write the answer and now we can include the direction as opposed to including it both times I'd rather not do that so 46 meters and when we're doing our direction that's what we're looking for we're going to solve these later on in the next video but for now we can write where we came from we are coming from east Okay, from east of north. And that's what I want you to write down. 46 meters east of north. And in the next video, we'll figure out how to, I'll show you how to find the actual angle. And do not forget to box in your answers. There you go. Okay, this next problem, I already drew it out for you. And uh, what I want you to keep in mind is this, okay? Where we're going, where north is, does not matter. All we care about is the field, okay? In the picture I drew, the field is shaped like, get rid of that. <clears throat> the field is shaped like this, okay? So across the field, is this way, okay? And this is down. Right. And no matter which way we turn that field, it's always going to be that way, okay? So if I say the field is now like this, sideways, then across is up and down, and down the field left and right. So it doesn't matter. The only important thing, you can put this at any angle you want. It doesn't matter, okay? What is important is that you know that's perpendicular. Okay. So the relative 
uh, directions of the arrow is what's important. How one arrow is related to the other, and it's perpendicular. Now, keeping that in mind, after this part, everything else is just pretty straightforward. What is the question asking for again? We are asking for the total displacement. Again, displacement. Not the distance, but the displacement. No equals for this step. The equation is next. I'm going to go ahead and skip to the rest. And there it is. Now, we got to keep in mind again the significant figures can't be as, um, we can only be as precise as our, our least precise number, and that's 6.0. Okay, so we need to take this to how many significant figures? Actually, no. two significant figures giving us delta x to be, here's one, here's two. Do I need to round up that five because of the six? Yes, so it is 16 meters. And from the directions given in the problem, it's across, sorry, we, we ended up okay, down from across. That's where we ended up, down from across. Across. The field. Okay, here's our last problem. There's my pretty little hummingbird, which is 3.14 meters from the ground. Okay, and then it flew across, as you indicated in blue, flew across in a straight path at that height. Okay, that's how far? 1.2 meters. And then it came straight down. 1.4 meters. And notice how the red is slightly bigger than the blue. Okay, keep that in mind because that is important. And I forgot to draw my arrow. Bad teacher. Bad physics teacher. Okay. And what are we looking for? Indeed, we are looking for Howard Green. Now, notice there were two Y's. And as soon as I saw that we had a second Y, I went ahead and labeled it two. So you got to go back to the first one and label it as a 1, which I will do in green. Label it as 1. And this one right here, as we see, is not needed. And that will happen from time to time in these problems. They're going to give you too much information, probably to throw you off. Okay. Okay, and then we'll, from our starting point to our ending point, we start from our first vector to our resultant. That's our angle. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. Shrink it up a little bit. Hey, 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 hey. Nice. I'm going to leave that up here. I'm getting out the way. Let's undo that part. Okay. That's all we need. So what's the question asking for again? It is asking for the green right here, which is come on. Put your life together. Or not together. Once again, we're being asked to find delta x bar. Okay, that is our unknown. I'm gonna go ahead and skip to the rest. Skip through the rest. And there it is, faster than lightning. Okay. Now, once again, significant digits. There's two here, which we don't need. So, uh, yeah, two there. There's a uh, two here. Uh, there's two here. Our answer needs to be the two significant digits. So two, two significant figures, our delta x ends up 
being 1.8, we do not need to round because of that 4. It's not 5 or greater. And from our problem, there's a new notation I'd like you to get accustomed to writing down. Uh, we first went across, so we write downward first. We came from where? We came from downward? From where? We always work backwards. Frown. From? And this is what I want you to include into your repertoire of di uh, directions. From the horizontal. Horizontal. And there it is. The horizontal is anything above the horizon. And right here we got the horizon. And it's horizontal. Okay. Horizontal. Well, hope that helped. Yeah, see you next time.